Greetings, grasshoppers. Hello, hello, hello. I am so happy to be here with you today. Today, we're going to talk about a specific growth tool. That's what ManyChat calls them, called the landing page. Uh, now, many of you are involved in uh, marketing that involves a whole lot of landing pages, Facebook ads, AB split split testing, all of those things. This is going to be very pertinent for you. If you're using a landing page at all to grow the traffic into your bot, uh, this will be helpful for you. We're also going to, we're going to talk about many chats, new updates that they've just made a couple of days ago. We're also going to talk about when to use a landing page and when something else might be more appropriate. So without further ado, by the way, my name is RJ Redden. Uh, I am here at Black Belt's Black Belt Bots HQ, uh, also known as, known as my office, and uh, I've done a little bit of digging. Someone in the community, Jenny uh, Jenny Mustafa Julak, whom, if you do not know, get to know, she was in the community this morning asking this question, and I thought, well, time to make a live about landing pages. So here here we go. Let's start with the many chat updates. Sometimes many chat makes updates, but their explanation of such is very uh, technically oriented. Uh, so I'm here to give you the plain language. There are cosmetic changes that you'll see on the front user facing side. And there are also a couple of back end changes like the, the stuff that works behind the scenes. So first of all, with the front end changes up first here, we will talk about uh, the fact that usually in a landing page, what you've been what you've been kind of railroaded into is you've got you you have a place to put an image, but it's it's always the same place. It's above the text. Now you can place images beside the text on either side. Uh, so super cool with that. Uh, you can also do, uh, you can also put a video behind, uh, behind your, your, uh, the sign up for your bot. Robert's here. Hey, Robert. So good to see you. Um, so let me show you what this is like right now. I'll give you a look at what, uh, Manny chat is doing. So you can see here uh, that uh, this update, and now this is many chats example. It's n it's not mine. Uh, I did not v film my cat's eye and decide to put that as a video background to a bot. Uh, but this is kind of interesting and exciting in a couple of ways. Um, you know, if you're a person who does visual type stuff for a living. Uh, this is exciting for you. Also, if you're a person who runs a lot of Facebook ads, that type of stuff, you want to put the same kind of image and or video that you're running. You, 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 every time you lead a user from one place to another, you must, uh, and please do this, give them visual cues that they're with the same people and in the same spot. Why? Too many times you will click on something and it'll be confusing or it'll be uh, maybe one of those uh, the Facebook side ads when those were going crazy with people throwing spam. You know, you'd click on one thing expecting to see sports shoes and uh, it would take you to a place that, uh, I don't know, sold ads for where I don't know. Oh, holy moly. Love it when this happens on a broadcast. Uh, I will just decline that. Anyway, Ari's here. Didn't even know ManyChat had this option. This is why I come to you for bot advice. Thank you. Thank you, Grasshopper. Uh, I am so glad you're here. So going back to why this cosmetic change, it may seem like not a big deal to you, but for me, uh, running ads to this page, I want to give them signals. I want to give my people signals that they're with the same people, they're going to the right spot. And it's really cool that you can put a video back there. It's really cool that you can kind of change and more customize what your landing page looked like. Uh, before, a ba you just had a real basic, uh, real basic stuff that uh, uh, you could add an image here. You've got some text here. You've got a button 
here you go. You know, great for a first shot, but it's cool that they're that they're updating uh, the landing page here to include more more visual options. Listen, it's a visual world, babies. Uh, we gotta have uh, we gotta have our stuff be visually appeal appealing, and uh, and this allows. Uh, marketers like me to show off that stuff a little bit more obviously. Now, they've also made a, made a little backend change. That, I think, is a little bit exciting. It is that you can put the ID of your Facebook pixel right into this landing page. Now, if what I said was just completely Greek, uh, or if it made you palpitate a little bit because it sounded a little bit technical, <laughs> totally okay. Pixels have to do with Facebook ads. Facebook wants to be able to sell you more ads. They want to, they want you as a marketer to go, this is important. I like this because Facebook is driving traffic to my site. So basically a pixel is a way for Facebook to track the click from the ad to wherever it's going. So you can see how many people came to your site, your landing page, whatever it is, from Facebook specifically. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a tracking device, my friends. Uh, not a hyperspace tracking device, uh, but a internet space tracking device. That's, that's all a Facebook pixel is. If you think about it, really, it's nothing but two cans and a, two tin cans and a string connecting in virtual space, that's all it is. So this being able, you being able to track the traffic from Facebook onto a landing page, this uh, this is very, very nice. A lot of other systems have this, by the way. You go to ClickFunnels, you go to any of these big uh, landing page companies, they've all got this tracking. ManyChat just put this in um, to the landing page. It is really cool. Listen, if you're into Facebook ads, you know how cool this is. If you're not, let me tell you how cool this is. <laughs> Facebook ads uh, is a really great investment. Now, I uh, am not, uh, I don't do the Facebook ads, but I, I've got a, a guy uh, and, um, <laughs> and beautiful things can happen with Facebook ads. Why? Because Facebook has lots and lots and lots of information on everybody who's on Facebook. And so Facebook ads, I find if they're targeted well, that turns me more results uh, than anything else. Uh, so if you're trying, if you, if you have a bot and you want cold traffic to come to it, Facebook ads is a great way to go. One of the things that you can do is you can, you can take, if you have 20 people, as little as 20 people visit uh, and sign up for your bot through, you know, through the, the, the tracking pixel, through all of that stuff, right? You set up an ad, you get at least pe 20 people coming through there from Facebook. You can create what's called a lookalike audience. So what you're saying is, okay, let's use this, let's take this in, in real life analog terms. Say you've got a long mowing business, okay? You want to get everybody within, I don't know, five miles of wherever it is that you live. So you print up a bunch of pieces of paper and you stick them in people's mailboxes. Every single person that's around here. Uh, that's, you know, it's, it's old school. Um, what using Facebook ads does and what creating a lookalike audience does for you is all of a sudden you're going around with those same, those, you know, the same advertisements, but you know exactly which houses are going to respond to you more and you know, which houses to skip the effort on, uh, that kind of targeting, knowing who would be pre-interested in you is very, very valuable stuff. So create, being able to create a lookalike audience and say, Hey, these 20 people, these hundred people that visited my site and signed up, I want Facebook to go out and find thousands more. <laughs> and I'm going to put my ad out there just to those pre-interested people. So that's kind of what is going on there with the Facebook ads and creating lookalike audiences. Now that you have the pixel, now that you have the tracking on your ManyChat landing page, 
sky's the limit people if you're trying to drive cold traffic this is very exciting for you if you if you really just want warm traffic then eh, this is eh, this is fine but you know it does you know the imagery and stuff like that the video it's fine uh but you don't really necessarily need it uh but if you drive cold traffic towards your bot and i do this is very exciting uh this landing page stuff now when to use a landing page uh jenny says she's late but she's here jenny welcome in uh thank you for your question this morning love uh love that participation i was actually kind of wondering what i should do a show about today and there you were so uh that was beautiful uh and uh and so just kind of went through uh, yeah pixels chatbots and landing pages oh my uh that is so beautiful robert so if you're a person who's running cold traffic to your to your bot this is a beautiful thing uh, if you're a person who loves to use visuals and imagery to attract people into their bot, this is a good thing. One thing to remember, if you are using ads uh, and pixels and all of that stuff, you do want to use the same type of imagery, the same type of branding, so that when going from one place to another on the internet, people know that they're with the same people. If people click to your landing page and you've got something brand new there, uh, and you don't, you know, you don't have too much of a clue as to your branding and stuff like that. People will get scared and drop off. You just don't want that. So when you're using imagery, use the same imagery that you had in the ad. Use your branding. Uh, I've got my branding on this video right now. That little black belt bot's up in the corner. You want to use those, you want to reuse those elements if you're going to go that way. Um, so, fantastic. When to use uh landing page definitely definitely with the cold traffic again i will sometimes use uh use some different tactics to get people into uh into black belt bots uh, but when i'm dealing with warm traffic i'll use something else i'll use a messenger ref url um, that will put people right in to action with the bot the, the times that I use a landing page, which is just an interstitial page that just kind of explains again who you are, what's the benefit people are going to get out of joining this, how this is going to be delivered, click here to, you know, have this delivered to Messenger, all of that stuff, that's just really a reassurance and a reiteration of what's going to be happening. You always want to announce ahead of time what's going to be happening. Uh, you know, it's not like... Uh, it's not like Disneyland where, you know, if you wait in this line a while, uh, that they're going to take you somewhere and they're going to give you some instructions or you're going to go on the roller coaster ride. You know, I mean, that stuff's pretty standard. When you're on the internet, people don't always know where they're going. So you do want to give them, give them plenty of directions. When I'm in a situation where I've got somebody who's unfamiliar with me already and they want to get into the bot that's where I will direct them to a landing page as opposed to anything else. When it just seems like they might benefit from a little bit of reassurance uh, and a little bit of directions, I absolutely send them to a landing page. Uh, Robert says it becomes a guided tour. It absolutely does. And you, my friend, are their friendliest tour guide ever. That's our role. That's our role, to, to let people know this is the experience you're going to have. This is how long it's going to take. This is where it's going to come to you. Uh, and, and all that kind of stuff. When, you, when you're driving cold traffic, that's a wonderful time for that little guided tour of the landing page. So that's when to use it. When I've got a warm audience, uh, folks who knew, know me already, uh, when I'm doing somebody's show, like I did Robert's uh, show last week, it was a super huge amount of fun, gave everybody a link to get into the bot. It was, uh, it, it, it skipped the landing page, got right into the bot. Why? Warm audience. I've already talked to them. I've explained what's going to go on. I've done the guided tour thing already. I'm not going to waste their time with another page in there. So I didn't use a landing page with a warm audience, uh, and I usually don't. Uh, 
cold audience, I'll absolutely do it. Warm audience, though, uh, I skip the landing page. Uh, Robert says, guide them through the process. Don't put them on the SS Minnow. Is that a Gilligan's Islands reference? <laughs> it's the first one we've had. Congratulations, Robert Stern. Uh, that is fantastic, darling. Um, so another way to do this too, and I have done this before, is when I've got cold traffic coming, there are times that I will put, uh, I will put a box on my website instead. Um, so I will still lead them to a landing page on the internet, but it's not many chats landing page. It's my own on my own website. Uh, sometimes that I will, I, I, I want to do that because there's something else on the website uh, or on that page that I want to kind of drive traffic to. So that's another option. Uh, but you, you pretty much, you want to use a landing page with, uh, with cold traffic. Now uh, there, and I do have an example here. I'll just show it to you real quick. Uh, but, uh, I got an example of that on my own website. Uh, here is a page on black belt bots that I have. Uh, and this is, this is just, it's got a picture of my ninja, uh, and then, you know, uh, a little, a little bit about the bot. This one, it's, it's not a mini chat landing page. Um, and that's, I mean, the, I just give this out in, in specific situations where I think people need a little bit more guidance, but I, you know, until now, until the Facebook pixel, this is kind of how you had to do it. You couldn't, uh, send them to the many chat landing page because it couldn't track my, my site my black belt bots, it has a pixel darlings. Uh, so, uh, so you can do either, uh, either one of these will give you pixel tracking provided you have a pixel on your website. Uh, but, uh, that's another way to do things as well. So fantastic. Um, wanting to, uh, I've forgotten how to get back to the main page here. Uh, here we go. Uh, so that is, uh, that's kind of uh, examples of what we're talking about. If you have any questions for me about landing pages, when to use them, uh, you know, anything like that, any of those growth tools, uh, love questions, get them to me. Cause you know, I want them, uh, also a great place to ask questions, black belt bots community. It is a wonderful little Facebook group. I got some people in there, some people who are building some bots or maybe just want to build some bots in the future. Uh, that is where people go and uh, collectively uh, we talk about some bots. So it's a free group, nice people, people who are, you know, have businesses to run, uh, but also have marketing to do. So solopreneurs like yourself, uh, come on and visit us. Absolutely love to see you. You can find me uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, 1 p.m. Central, right here on the Black Belt Bots page. If you love the broadcast, you know, share the broadcast. I want to tell as many people about Facebook Messenger bots as humanly possible. And I'm using this Facebook page. I'm using this group. I'm using the live streams to do so. Uh, so if you have a friend and they have been talking to you about the frustrating state of digital marketing today. Uh, and you feel like they might need a little bit different solution to stand out amongst the crowd, send them on over to me. I'd absolutely love to talk to them. Thomas says, Hey, RJ, Thomas, how you doing? Thomas is going to be taking over the world people. Uh, he has got, uh, he's got a little bot that we have been building together. Uh, it is about, about keeping healthy, uh, and, uh, I am really excited to see what he's going to do. So, uh, so Hey Thomas, good to see you. And, uh, that's, that's really about all I have for today. Uh, do tune in next Tuesday. We're going to be talking more about bots. I'm also going to be, uh, in a place on the internet. She hasn't announced it yet, so I won't announce it, but February 21st, there'll be more coming about that show. It's going to be a great, great little show. And, uh, that's all I know. I love you guys. Uh, and that's it for me. So I am going to, I'm going to see you 
in a bot. Hold on. <laughs>